All right, so you have a Kenmore Elite fridge and you need replacement filters. This is for the water filter. Uh, just for reference, the model number that I have on here is the 795.72373.310. Uh, and most of the water filter replacements are gonna be up here at the top. Um, and then you actually have an air filter over here in the back. So the water filter is just a matter of pushing there. If, if this sticker is missing, there's actually a little push button right there. You push that in. Basically, you push it in on both sides and it just snaps out of place. And then you have the water filter. Now, this is a third party water filter and generally they're not as good. You'll probably get a nice discount because the original water filters are pretty expensive. This one has not proven to be very good and probably because it was really cheap. So you just basically need to slide that on down like so. And if you can't actually get it that far down, you just may have to lower your top shelf so that you can. And it just comes out in place just like that. So you can see this is pretty much the head that we have. Uh, this is a third party filter, probably really cheap and it does not have the same level of filtration that the original one does. And you can see this is not NSF certified. It's probably really cheap, but there's a model number in there, NJW-14. Now, if you want the best tasting quality, uh, you're gonna have to pay quite a bit more for these water filters. This one does not taste that great. Um, it probably has some filtration, but it's not, it's really not that great. So I wouldn't recommend it. I would recommend uh, checking out my link down below. I am, of course, switching a lot of these water filters and I'll rank them on, of course, by price and also by the quality of the filtration. So the best one that I found so far is going to be the Amazon Basics version at the advanced or the most expensive level. They run about $25. Uh, a piece and they also run for about 300 gallons. It has levels of filtration that meet and exceed what the original has. And just so you know, these Kenmore Elite refrigerators are actually OEM'd by uh, LG. All right, so to replace the air filter, um, it's really simple. There's, if you can see really down here, there's actually a rotate cover to remove filter and you basically ro rotate it that way. Oh, sorry about that. And then as you can see, there's a little air filter in here. These are basically just carbon air filters from what I can tell. And these are actually fairly cheap and you don't really have to go really expensive to get one of these. Um, you, can, you can get these uh, through third parties and you know, basically it looks like this. You can see a little bit of a see-through and it's just carbon uh, in there that basically removes um, some of the smells. Okay, so these go in fairly easy, they snap right in. And in order to go ahead and put them back on, you just kind of have to put them at an angle, slight angle like this, oops, slight angle like that, okay. And then just rotate and snap in place. It's just like that. So taking it out is a little bit drying. Don't worry, it's actually pretty sturdy and you just rotate that back in. And that's how you go ahead and replace the Kenmore Elite. So this applies to a lot of the LG refrigerators that also have the filter up top. And uh, if you have the ones of the bottom fridge, or bottom freezer, certain models, it's actually down below, but I don't have that one, so I can't actually show you that. All right, so that's it for uh, this video. I'm gonna have a link down below about my current recommendations, and I'm probably gonna do some water tests on those as well to let you know just how much they get through, and, uh, and some recommendations in terms of the replacements of these and where to get them. Thanks for watching, please give this a like, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video. Every couple of months, you should be changing your water filter, depending on how much you use, up to 300 gallons. It really depends on how dirty your water is and how much filtration is required. Um, you just have to hold this down for about three seconds and it resets that after you replace it. And also same thing with the air filter. You hold down this button over here for three seconds and it'll go ahead and reset that just to give you a reminder of when you should replace it. And as for this model, your model might be slightly different, uh, but it usually comes down to those type of, uh, of settings and controls.